Maybe working? Whoa. Maybe. <laughs> hello. 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 Yay. Awesome. Okay. At least microphone audio. I've tested, uh, <laughs> desktop and it should work too. We're gonna find out. Let's do this thing. Yeah, it's doing the thing now. Here you go. How goes it? <laughs> oh, awesome. Neat. Oh. Cool. Alright. It's Mina Quest at 6. Intermission 3. Doing this thing. DJ Mina. Newly a ghost. As far as she's concerned from her perspective. <laughs> Forgive me, I have no idea where anything is in this. <laughs> you got a dirty old fedora! Totally useless. This nasty trash isn't coming anywhere close to your head. Doesn't even have horn holes. Looks like something an archaeologist would wear. You wonder whose memory this is? Hornless troll Indiana Jones hat. Dear Twitch notifications. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? You got a double trident! You already have one of these. But there ain't nothing wrong with stowing a little more solid gold in your inventory. You got an extravagant ghost sea princess lifestyle to maintain. Gold! Booyah! Who the heck is over there? Okay, we're gonna see if we can get to them. Maybe? Maybe? We can't fit through here. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Oh look! It's a hole. Dang. What the heck? I'm not even sure if I noticed this the first time I played through this. You got a gold tiara! Gotta have the Toblerones! You have no intention of wearing this thing, but it doesn't hurt to start stockpiling loot again. Now that you're dead, you're finding yourself a little light on collateral, if you know what I'm saying. Bling. Carats. Jackpot. You. Wee. Didn't Andrew Hesse die like a thousand pages ago or something? Anyway. Yeah, my sense of memory is horrible. I apologize for backtracking. Hi! What are you doing here in everyone's dreams as per the use? Greetings! I've been meaning to say hello since you arrived. Uh, Megiddo? Oh hell no. Yes, but not the one you're thinking of. Which one, then? I like to consider myself as something of a caretaker for this place, you know, the afterlife. Beeries.
Is this a, like a direct jab at Tumblr hashtags? Heck yes it is! And you just wait for the rest of this flippin' update, it is crazy. <laughs> yeah, great, it's excellent. Every single attribute of Act 6 Intermission 3 could only be described as good and nothing else. Whoa, I can't buttons. Ah! Thank you. I'd refer to myself as an excellent host, but that has become kind of a loaded phrase. Yeah! You look like Megado. Man, you sure don't sound like any Megado I know. I should hope not. Anyway, those of us who are concerned with the preservation of reality have been looking forward to this day for some time. Even though time is really just a figure of speech here. Why well, wouldn't you be looking forward to this shit? This guy just broke, stupid fairy. Not the devastation so much as your arrival. You have some big plans, yes? Uh, maybe. What did you? Oh, nothing. I am merely extending the courtesy of a formal welcome. Now off with you. Go find your friends. That is why you finally come out of your palace, isn't it? Yeah. Guess I'll get going then. Now that I got my eye on you, Megado looking fairy. Ta! Okay, so these are just buttons here. I don't know what they do. <laughs> I have not quite figured them out, so I'll I'm gonna mess around with them and see if I can get them to work. Greetings! I'm going to say hello. Yeah, hi again. Ta-da! You got some boon dollars! ka -ching. It's not much, but you pocket the loot without a second thought. The bankroll's been a little slack since you died, and every bit helps on your climb back to obscene wealth. Hashtag broke. Pretty. You got a scalemate plush! Hashtag Pilespite. Holy shit, you are never going to stop hugging this thing, ever! Highly desirable merchandise. Merchandise? You got a bronze potion! This stuff is supposed to make you kiss good, with side effects of mild to total paralysis. Wait a minute, isn't this just some troll blood? Oh yuck, you throw it off a cliff. You got a thing of motor oil! Hey, this bottle even has the label intact! Typically, the label is ripped off and applied to chalk murals. The fact that it still has a label makes it much more valuable as a collector's item. Always gotta be mindful of the cash value of the useless shit you find in chests. P.S. You take a little sip. It tastes awful. That's the motor oil that we first see in the Wayward Vagabonds can. Yeah, can. That's a lot of broken eight balls. Yo, orange guy. Or, uh, yellow guy. Squash colored. What's your deal? What the fuck is with all these eight balls? Are you, uh, crying? Awkward. Silence! Bring me a horse, and I am yours forever. <laughs> okay. You got a bloody chirrup tooth. The fact that this is in a chest here is kind of disturbing to you in ways you can't really explain. You think you'll try to sell this thing to the highest bidder as soon as possible? Or whoever makes the first offer?
you got a boon buck. Now we're talking. They should get your broke ass off the canvas. It's just a crime that the insane fortune you accumulate in your game doesn't persist after you die. You guess it's true, you really can't take it with you to the other side. But once you're there, you can try to make it back in a fucking hurry. Okay. <laughs> no, that's totally fair. You got a Juju! An effigy, to be precise. It has magical properties binding it to the mortality of someone, depending on what hat it wears. Hey, maybe you'll hang it from this tree? Nah, that's a bit morbid. You'll just hawk it to some chump. Oh yeah, there's two paths here. I think that uh, this is the better one. You got a bunch of throwing stars! Whoa, these are badass. Maybe you'll keep a few instead of selling them all. Unless someone blows you away with an offer, of course. Brain trees. Dave E. Bubbles? Holy shit. Why are we so fucking awesome? I've been laying waste to chumps non stop. Truth be told, everyone will be tripping when I'm done. Maybe I'll humorously defile Willis and Affleck's dumb, skyward, yearning faces? The best thing about how I did that is how I did no way will ever come back to bite us in the ass ever. Jade, hey. I can't possibly argue with any of that. <laughs> you got a pair of timetables. Use these to travel through time, which in the furthest ring doesn't always mean much. Uh, traveling back in time. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Are you? Cool. Sounds like a plan. All right. Uh, use these to travel through time. Which, in the furthest ring, doesn't always mean much. Traveling back in time could also transport you millions of light sweeps away. Probably better to just sell them to an eccentric billionaire. Ooh, like that kid across the water there. You bet he's loaded. Hmm. You got an echidna statue. An obviously not to scale depiction of the denizen Aranea consulted with to learn how to scratch your session. The decision to scratch, of course, came with major consequences, and you guess it's only now that the true extent of those consequences are fully apparent. Looks like it's time to clean up her mess. Oh, also you can probably make bank off this thing. Hi. There you are! Haven't seen much of you since you joined us in the afterlife. I know you are royalty and all, but it isn't very sociable of you to lock yourself in your lavish moon high forever. Everyone has missed you. Well, I'm here now, aren't I? Yes, and it's a good thing you are. I was just about to come find you so we could discuss the recent calamity out in the abyss. Wordplay. Eight letter words. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you thought too, huh? Explosions. That was the guy, right? Skull guy? Laser breath? Lord something... Uh... 
Flammaborn when you say his shit was again? I try to avoid saying his true name. Bad Juju. What's it matter? He's already here, ain't he? <laughs> I guess. But yes, the Lord of Time was responsible for the destruction of that dream bubble and the murder of all those innocent ghosts. Ghost murder, second death, suicide. Innocent ghosts? Killing ghosts is a thing that can happen is seriously the dumbest shit I ever heard. Hashtag dumb. I don't make the rules, Mina. I merely observe them and explain them thoroughly to anyone who will listen. Like you. Yeah. Last thing I need is not any more of your observations. Hashtag fish puns. 2x combo. Booyah. Anyway, that explosion kicked ass. Explosions rule the school. Like school of fishes, I mean. I agree that it's more excitement than we've seen here for millennia, but all of us here in the afterlife are in serious danger of being exterminated. Um, again. Yeah, I got that. I figured I'd have to be the hero and bail you suckers out again. This time I might not even blow y'all up with a bomb. Oh, really? What exactly is your plan? I'm very curious. To get all this ghost gear to team up and kill asshole? Duh. What? Oh, Mina, that is such a terrible idea. Poor death choices. Yeah, right. Like you have a better idea. As a matter of fact, I do. Ask about friends. So, where is every Moby? I want to talk to them about something. Uh, BRB. Since the thing's getting printed. Back in a second. Okay, back. Dead fronds, ghost bros, haunt pals, and okay. Welcome, quote unquote, back. <laughs> For real? Uh, as in, like, actually idle or. Okay, look. Duly noted. No worries. Poke me when you're back. No worries. Club, 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 club.
glub 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 glub. I am back. As you are. Yeah. Glub glub. How well. Hello. How'd you do? Hmm. I do good as well. Cool. E oh. Alrighty. So, where is every moby I want to talk to them about something? Dead fronds? Ghost bros? Hunt pals? I don't know. I believe most of our friends have gathered in this dream bubble. You should be able to find them if you explore a bit. What do you want to talk to them about? Gotta get the gang back together! Alpha Trill Reunion, yo! Take down the douche of time! You say he's invincible, but I think that's exactly the kind of loser BS that made us lose like a bunch of fucking losers in the first losing place. Losers. Losing experts. Lost masters. Fail pros. We can do it if we all, like, work together and shit. Just a team for lol. If we build an army, uh, maybe a ghost army. Think of how glove and sick would that be. So sick. Sick, perhaps, but not a very good strategy. You will just be leading everyone into permanent oblivion. At least you will at least you will without coming up with a better plan first. Then what's your awesome idea? To be a little more patient. Patience, Pikes's alliterative assonance. I have been following clues regarding the whereabouts of a secret weapon that may be the key to defeating him. Oh really? Cam okay, waiting. It's ass onens. It's ass onens. <laughs> Look, if it's me, <laughs> I'm really a dumb bass. Okay, look, I. If it makes you feel better, I don't know what that word means. Okay, I'm clueless. What's it mean? Please tell me. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Sure. You got it. It's totally ass onens. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. What's the Wepron? The Wepron? Weapon, I mean. Is not a what, but a who. <laughs> Wepron? Really, Mina? She is the other cheer-up, the Lord's female counterpart, who once occupied the same body. Hashtag aliens. But when they reached maturity, his personality dominated the host, assuming complete control. Xenobiologically fascinating species. She technically died that day, and now her spear presumably roams somewhere out here in the furthest ring. Or so the legend goes. We need to find her before he does. He will surely want to finish her off. Yeah. Cheer up. Uh, what? Okay, I can't really follow any of that junk, so uh... You go right ahead and find your cheer up, girl. I'ma be right here building my ghost army, biatch. Just army, biatch, if you yeah. Very well. Best of luck with that. But try to remember, it has been a very long time since any of our friends have done anything important at all. Like, almost eternity. It may be more difficult to find recruits for your army than you think. I hope you like frustrating conversations. Please. Okay, I admit that most of them were chumpy as globes when we was trying to win our game. Chumps, shame globes, champiness globage. But this time when I'm through with them, they'll be the loyal, murderous mob of your fucking fury our people were always supposed to be. And if you don't think I can do that, then need I remind you who I grew up to be in some another dimension or whatever? Hashtag Batterwitch. Water bitch. Oh, Mitchie. Yes, yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. You needn't remind me at all, your condescension. I believe you are half to be a tyrant, and I pray that your campaign of bullying and intimidation goes swimmingly. Aw, oh, you're the best, Sega. Come here. Yeah, this just loops around back up here, I think. That's really all there is to say on the matter. Just once. No, what a ridiculous question. What is, like, the primary activity here? She probably digs wizards for real, just like you, and you're blowing shit out of proportion, like, pretty much always. Yeah, we know fucking squat. <laughs> I can't even type that without that mass off. You got the Thorns of Oglagoth! Any sane adventurer would cast these instruments of the occult into the furthest ring and forget they ever existed. And it looks like someone did just that? A wise move. Yeah, this loops back here. See? Ta-da! Alright. Acting. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I get the feeling. Oh, it's the two best characters in Homestack. You got a copy of Complacency I've Learned! Wow, this looks really... Uh-huh. It just disappeared. <laughs> no! These are actually the two best Homestead characters, come on! It just disappeared from your hand in a crazy blur! What the... Oh, that human girl has it. She looks like she's enjoying it a lot more than you ever would. You'll let her have this one. Probably wasn't worth Jack anyway. Hey! Hello. It's, uh, you! Yes. Human, right? Where the horns at? So weird. That's right. Rose, more specifically. Who cares? Listen, human girl, I want to ask you something. You're not very good at this, are you? What? Talking to people. Hey, F you. It's okay that you are. I'm not trying to criticize. Beer beer. So this is a radius. Whatever. This is a radius. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Radius times like radius squared is twenty-five. Sure. Yep. This is like the right thing, right? This is right, right? Yeah. Under here. The radius and height. Like, right. No, because respectively you didn't do it right. It's a, the radius is 21 yards, and the height is 5 yards. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, well, I had no idea. Yeah. You just made the In that order, sorry. Okay, yeah. oh. I know, okay. it's pretty weird to think of, like, a flat can here. Yeah. But, yeah, that's what that is. And then find it. That's an eye for stuff like that. Okay, well, anyway. I didn't know what that meant. Okay, well, now I'm gonna get it right, so. Oops. Whatever. Oh. I'm gonna steal your paper and swing it over. Yeah, whatevs. <laughs> okay, back. Alright. It's okay that you are. I'm not trying to criticize. I can kind of relate, actually. I've heard some things about you. That pink rocky environment back there? That's a memory of your home, right? The before and moon? Yeah, again, it doesn't really matter. Like, Mabes. Mabes not. I probably will under the real manner. I may ask. Uh, you renounced the throne and ran away to the moon, didn't you? And then you lived there completely alone for how many years? What a years? I think I'm starting to lose track of what a year is myself. 
That seems to be what happens when you spend enough time out here. Abyss madness. Meteor fever. This is totally an accurate simulation of pester quests, and I am excited. Uh... I'm just curious about you. You seem like an interesting person who probably has a lot of stories to tell. Also, I like your brains. From what I understand, you discovered something on the moon which originally contained your copy of the game. Is that true? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Maybe we could spend some time together and get to know each other. When you have the chance, of course. Man. You're like an alien wind thing. Oh, wordy and nosy and nice to me for no discernible reason. All oh, plan equals discernible. You even have the same gun to your jammies on. Goddamn ugly. Just another bright orange blubber mouth? Fuchsia blows orange out of the water. Let's just forget I said anything, okay? So... Extra talky human. It's me again. Sup? Hey. Got a port position for ya. You know that bad guy just wrecked this guy and killed some dead muffos? Rainbow Barber. Lord English. Yes, I know of him. Wanna team up with me and kill him, or...? Absolutely. Yay! Word! But later. Much later, really. It'll only be about 3,000 pages. Nothing to worry about. Can't fucking damn it. Ugh. We can't interrupt the plan which has been put into inexorable motion. Well, for that matter, the media we're traveling on, which has been similarly repelled. Hashtag troll Isaac Newton. Sorry! We have to rendezvous with our rebooted ancestors, as it were, and help them win their game. Alpha players, team guardians, fun. In the process, we will ideally become stronger and more experienced. Only then will be we be ready to help you defeat him. Additional fun. Oh my glove, you really are serving the fuck out of this. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, stop over planning. Let's all just fly away together and wreck his shit. There are like billions of ghosts out here, right? We got numbers on our side. Billions? I mean, probably. Yes, but even if I agreed, I couldn't just fly away with you now. I'm not even standing here. I'm asleep on our meteor. This is a dream projection you're talking to. Kind of like a hologram, I guess? What? What? You're new to dream bubbles, aren't you? I would be more than happy to explain to you how they work in extensive detail. Ugh. Light players. Later, Rosefang. Pfft. <sighs> Oh, hey, the Merriam-looking girl. What is the deal with you? The deal with the Merriam-looking girl is that she is wondering what the deal is with the Pikes-looking girl, and specifically why the former has piqued the latter's curiosity. The deal with things. The topic of wonder. People-looking people. Why? Dunno. Seems to me like two Merriams is overdoing it a bit. I mean, two captors, I understand. One was more than enough. The same thing occurred to me. You aren't much like the one we had. You talk weird. Kind of a tough act to follow to be fair, though. The same thing occurred to me yet again. Things that are the same, and how they occur to evil. Looks like you got the rainbow drinker thing going on, too. Damn, you're blinding me, girl. The goggles do nothing. I suppose. So... You go around looking like that all the time, or... Yes! Oh my gosh. To my knowledge, yes. Kind of personal? <laughs> Is there an alternative degree of autoluminescence I should be aware of? And if so, how foolish should I feel for only learning about it now? On a scale of one to idiots. I'm no drinker buff, but yeah, our Marion figured out how to control it. Really? She probably had more time to figure it out than you. When you're stuck in a busted session for three sleeps without much to do, will you figure some stuff out about yourself? Not my buzzbug wax, but maybe you should ask her. Buzzbugs. <laughs> I don't think so. Why not? I'd like to, but I can't get up the nerve. 
Aw, uh, come on, she's cool. You check out her and get fucking dope. Yes, she is an amazing person. And it is very intimidating. I had the same feelings of trepidation the last time I encountered someone I admired. Oh yeah, who was that? Huh? You mean... Her over there? Talky girl in the orange nutty jams? Her? <laughs> I see... Saw you two hanging together last time. She a G-friend. The red sort, I mean. <sighs> Maybe. Additionally bashfully blank hashtags. Yeah! That's adorbs, yo. <laughs> hey, Miriam looking looking like let's go kick the fuck out of Skullzilla. I was about to respond favorably. But then I glanced over at Rose, and she was just shaking her head at me very slowly and kind of knowingly. The limitless monsieur, the limitless mysteries of her wisdom know no bounds. Hashtag human sarcasm. No, oh, you silly drinker, she's just bugging with you. Oh, probably. But let's be realistic here, the answer was probably going to be no anyway. Bad plan. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna go drink Skull Guy's blood all by myself then. I bet it tastes really bad. Gross monster blood. <laughs> yeah. Well, later. It's a sewing machine. You got a sewing machine. Ooh, this looks really expensive. You bet you could... Wait. What's she looking at? The Merriam looking girl is looking at you funny. What is this thing? What is this thing? Hers? You don't want to start any trouble over this dumb gizmo. You slowly put it back in the chest, very casually like it ain't no thing. You'll come back and swipe it later when she's not around. You got a fuchsia potion. Legend says this enchanted potion is supposed to be- Oh god, it's more royal- It's more troll blood. Wait, this is royal blood? What an absolute outrage that probably some commoner had the audacity to draw royal blood. You are almost mad enough not to not give a shit. You chuck it over the edge. Glass shatters. Someone below says, ow. You got a juju! What's up with all these jujus lying around? Jujus are very wide-ranging sorts of magical objects. You never know what form they'll take. This one is particularly useless, though. It has the power to travel through time. Into the future only, though. At exactly one second per second. <laughs> you got a Daresight tabloid. Says some human girl is dead. You don't recognize her. Inside is the usual kind of sensationalizing sleaze you're used to seeing from these. You spent a long time on Durst during your game. You always loved reading these. They were almost always about assassinations, some of which were yours. <laughs> the very first use. I have no idea. I'd imagine it's independently invented by most people. Who? <laughs> by. Maybe not even, I don't know. It's like, it's gotta be independently invented by some people, but I'm never gonna say one second per second without getting it from Homestuck. I can't remember any of the names of the Felts characters. I am just extremely bad and I need to figure out their names. I have a book right here. Book two, at three and intermission. Whoa, dang. That's a while ago. 1987. I think that whoever had this juju thing showed up pretty close to the end. Biscuits! Of course, Biscuits! Biscuits is the one who has the stove juju. Get it? Cause like, 
oven baking and stuff. So, do you host East European industrial raves? Does this mean later I'm gonna have to put this giggly goddamn suit back on? Sports. <laughs> you don't seem to harbor any sympathy for the fact that I've burrowed deep, fuck deep into the lively, fluffy Muppet butter. I mean, I think even the civilization for the laziest sons of bitches are gonna make up a myth figure for death. Man, so lame. Does Dave E. Bubbles contain every single line that Dave has ever said? And tweet them randomly? I feel like I... Dave E. Bubbles? Aw, the account has not been used since forever, but it was a thing. Yeah. <sighs> Look, okay, here. I am the real Dave. Okay. <laughs> Be Dave. Hey, cape guy. You're a human lunch's cape with the shades. <laughs> okay, no worries. Uh, Dave. Seriously.
He's stored in the U. Welcome back. Hey, cape guy. You're a human. What's his cape? Anywhere from long to really long? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, human. What's his cape? With the shades. That's exactly my name. See also, shaggy to cape Everyone stupidly insists on calling me Dave, though. So, Dave Cape, where's your bro? My bro? He's dead. Like, the ghost was kinda dead, I think. Unless you mean the kid version is the guy we saw with the pointy shades. Kid bro, what the fuck? Remember he grabbed my sleeping teen mom and flew away and that was the last I saw of him? It's sorta of what he does, just vanishes like a mysterious motherfucker. No, no. Not that guy. Actually, I gave him a sweet high five a little while ago, but that's not who I mean. One of the best high fives ever. Dude's a pro. What? When did he give him a high five? Why well, wasn't I informed of this high five that took place? Not cool. Who cares? I'm talking about your other bro. The cool shouty kid who got PO'd and went to Clown Scray the F out. Mad Vantas. Oh, car cat, you mean? Ah, oh, no, he's around. I saw him talking to his ancestor a while ago. Uh, being talked to. Didn't think he likes him very much. Hilarious to a party. What? Shouty shouldn't be hanging out with that glubbin dork. I doubt he actually wants to, but you know how it is with ancestors. Ancestors, you know how it is. Okay, maybe you don't, since I guess you're actually an ancestor yourself. Or you were to some dead girl I never met, but anyway. I think your name was Fieri or something? They just seem to... I don't know... Have this inexplicable power over you? I mean, look at Kanaya over there, she's a fucking shambles about hers. Shambles. Kanaya, yeah. Like, it isn't even rational or anything, they just represent something you measure yourself up to. Dude, come get the ruler. And even though they probably aren't all they're cracked up to be, it just kinda gets in your head, you know? Nah. My ancestor was fucking lame. On the other hand, in another universe, I grew up to be an ice-cold murder bitch in charge of everybody, which makes perfect sense. Including a pair of human clown slam poets. <laughs> so the only one I gotta measure up to is me, and it turns out I measure up awesomely. Fuchsia Ruler. And on that day, human what's his cape learned the only real treasure was a poor sense of self-esteem. He thanked the punky sea priest, the princess for her radical wisdom, and then she went away. I think... that... maybe I was just owned? Ask Dave to join. Yeah, I saw it. I was looking up in the space doing a little monster gazing, right? Dave is private chill time, Elder Tread Lobster, Bergen Seafood Buffet, hashtag bored. When suddenly I thought my glasses shattered, Ben Stiller almost fucking tornadoed in his grave. But it wasn't the shades, turned out it was space itself that cracked. Fucking relief, best bro gave me these. And I listened and I heard the screams and killing and stuff. Monsters dying, ghosts dying, atrocious problems. I haven't slept well since that. Well, I guess I'm sleeping alright at the moment. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot. Cause I'm here in a bubble talking to you, but yeah, in general, my shut eye has been boned up the protein shoot. Troll anatomy. Lewd. Maybe. Keeping myself busy with awesome projects helps a bit, I guess. Awesome projects. Then you must want to kill the guy even worse than me. Why don't you join me? Why don't you join me? We can fly away and fuck him up together. What good is a cape even if you won't fly away to clobber bad guys? Nope. Nah. I appreciate the offer, but I'm just gonna hang tight and work on my e-bubbles. Dave e-bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. E what? E-bubbles, they're awesome. How is this not awesome? This is some ridiculous shit I figured out how to do here. 
This whole place runs on memory, so I've been messing around with that. Just as long as you don't ask me how, we are cool. Turns out I don't even really need the internet for shenanigans, I can just exploit the afterlife. The fuck? I know you're down the dumb skid, but that sounds like a stupid waste of time. Stupid waste of time. Now come on, let's go lay on a cherub. Nah, let's, let's, just fucking with you. No. I mean, I think I might be supposed to kill him anyway. Air quotes. That's the feeling I get, like there are all these clues about that that I've kinda noticed. Remember that bullshit about the pimp being in the crib? <laughs> oh god. So if I am the guy that needs to take him down, then fine, I'll do that if and when I get horns woggled into some big showdown with a ridiculous green space pimp or whatever he is. I heard he has a gold tooth. Are you fucking kidding me? We definitely won't see this happen for 6,000 pages. I don't know, I think I'm not really cut out for the whole reluctant hero shtick. I'm better at comics. Like, the whole scene is so obvious and trite, and I can't even tell if my reluctance is ironic or if I'm playing it straight. Reluctant before it was cool, and before I was willing. Yeah! Like, I'll wonder if I'm being reluctant enough to cut it or if I'm actually just being reluctant to be reluctant. It's okay, Dave makes it out fine. How reluctant do you even have to be to do something like the etc. Et 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 Spot. It turns out like meta reluctance, and then all I can think about is how fucking stupid the whole thing is. I also think about puppets sometimes. <laughs> Unrelated. <laughs> I think I'm probably just too self-aware for this hero bullshit, so don't even waste your time on me. Ironic self-pity. Wow. So cool. Not Wait, uh huh, WTF? You want to be me, Aeropotes? Yeah, why not? Okay, well, without getting too deep into the issue of how absurd that request is on the very face of it, a face presently being palmed, it's just not going to happen. I mean, not yet anyway, this early in your li little dream bubble quest, you got going on, you got going on here? Shut up, dog, just let me walk around as you and stuff. Tag a piece in cool kid way, maybe play a different tune? No. Why? I really don't think we should get too meta about this. Just, okay. Look, you're on a mission to gather up all your dead friends and build an army or something? Can't believe I'm even explaining this. Personally, I think that's a shitty idea, but you are clearly motivated to do that. Yeah, true Nat. So why would you waste time going around being other people? It doesn't make any fucking sense. Air quotes. For instance, you can't be anybody in this fucking sandy beach area because ostensibly you're just charging through this place looking for your friends. Damn it, try to play the part at least somewhat. <laughs> Alrighty, too meta. I give the fuck up. Aw oh, man, boring. Maybe when you catch up with your posse, you could be some of those guys. Hell, maybe you can be some of us too after the whole thing you're trying to do winds up being this huge predictable disappointment. But well, now I'd have to be in a different area. What area? What? You cray? Like a different goddamn bubble zone? Like someone's memory of a magic fucking forest or home village or some shit? I don't know, just somewhere the fuck else. Dave! Don't go away. Of this, let us never speak again. Be Dave, bitch please. Fine! This is Mug Cracker Parlor Wiggle. <laughs> yeah, well, you would. You got a ribbit. ribbitar. Foes everywhere tremble at the mere sight of this lethal amphibious scourge. So overwhelming is their terror that. <laughs> yeah, right? This sword is almost too ridiculous for words. It's a nice conversation piece, though. Oh shit, is that made of ruby? Cantamala! Hey, get lost, kid. This is my hiding place. Can't you see English is coming for me? Death of the author. Uh, again. He is coming for us all. Uh. 
Aww. <laughs> gonna leave him with his thing set. Oh boy. Can we go this way? Okay. Can't argue. Where to next then? My sense of memory is bad. Y'all, this is a wall. Hey, out of here. Cause I'm dumb. Man, you know how to play this game. Help! No! Why can't I go that way? Why? Ah, uh, yeah, flippin' bridge. Nice. <laughs> nice. You got a sufferer pendant! Exhibiting the sign of the signless, the story of the sufferer got really popular among your old crew as a kind of religious fad after everyone died and learned the stories of their post scratch lives. RNA especially seems to think seems to have bought into this nonsense hook line and singer. Uh she never wore anything like that around her neck before she died. You wonder if people have gotten so into it just to bug Vantas? You know it probably pisses him off seeing people wear this thing all the time. <laughs> Now that you think of it, maybe you'll wear one too. You got a lance! Whose memory is this? This thing has really made the rounds. Let's see, Tavros had it, but then was impaled by it. The Black Queen had it, and used it as a cigarette holder somewhere, sometimes, when she was Snowman. Spadeslick wielded it while riding around on a horse hitcher once. Snowman killed quarters with it, you'd think. That happened in the top banner, though. So you might have missed it. Mina has no idea what we're talking about. You got a pair of horns! This is the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen! Why would anyone want to wear a second pair of horns? Unless maybe they were compensating for a, per a particularly nubby pair. Oh, you got it! Humans wear these to pretend to be trolls and also be less stupid looking. These clearly belong to a human. Case closed. Yeah. Whoa! You got a whole stack of boon dollars. Keep them coming. You'll be rich again in no time. Pretty soon you'll own this place. Right after you save it from destruction, of course. How does this factor in the big silly tumbler metaphor? Shrug. You got a whole heap of boon dollars. No money. Some of these messages don't really make sense unless you're being Mina. But you're not going to let that bother you. You got a Ray Gripper! A popular model from the Demon Bane line of chainsaws. At least, it was popular on Alternia. Your planet wasn't nearly badass enough for this thing to be sold legally. Before us was so lame. Lame planet. Lame planet names. Who's this douchebag? Find out next time on As We Cross Over to That Platform. Maybe we could be them, per the Daves. You got a juju. Looks like a magic egg timer, which you used, which you can use to travel through time haphazardly and stupidly. It's a type of item that's severely prone to making a mess of the timeline. Need a juju breaker to destroy such an item and repair the damage it's done. But that kind of thing is extremely rare to non-existent. You don't have a single good guess what form such an item would could take. Okay, you pried one hint out of me. The number seven. The number seven. I'm gonna present it to you. Here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It is really long. Let's find some number sevens in this. <laughs> Let's see. The number seven. 
truly be referring to crowbar, implying a juju breaker to be a crowbar, or rather implying crowbar's crowbar to be a juju breaker? What a mysterious thing that will have no significance in 3,000 pages! <laughs> you just think it's bullying as though I would ever lie to you You got some authentic religious memorabilia these were the doodads adult post scratch Vantas was chained up with when he died. You bet Circuit would fork over a ton of gold for this junk. Religious nuts are some of the biggest suckers around. Irons, sufferer, authentic. Or as authentic as phantom ghost memory items get. Oops. Yeah. Exactly. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I did. You got it. Uh, we're at this point in um this game. Uh, who's this douchebag? Hey, it's Shouty. But it looks like he's severely embroiled in a really heavy discussion with your team's Fantas. You really don't feel like getting involved. Listen in on conversation. Eavesdropping. Rude. Yes or no? Choose now and forever. I don't know, however the phrase goes. <sighs> yes, it is. <clears throat> Kinky. Now, I realize we've been at this for some time already, but at. <laughs> But at the risk of derailing the dialogue you initiated, may I just uh, say how thrilled I am that you did, Carcat. I would just like to qualify my entire analysis of your Alternian culture by saying that, in contrast with life on before us, while your people uh, may have been engaged in violent, lethal class struggle for millions of sleeps, by no means does this imply that before in way of life was entirely without problematic elements. Perhaps even more disturbing and insidious for their lack of acknowledgement and open discussion, particularly as a consequence of what, in my view, were widely and dismayingly unexamined systemic social injustices resulting from the entrenched to power dynamics in play, dynamics strikingly similar to those of your planet's markedly more, uh, your planet's markedly more bellicose iteration, which has only served to fully vindicate my hypothesis that such a hierarchy is really predicated on intrinsic dysfunction and failure to shift all the usual narratives and undiagnosed problems into an open, judgment-free discourse through which problematic issues are constructively channeled into more intelligently problematized avenues of discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Don't marry these two. Don't know. Now, before I continue, it is only uh, decent of me to warn you about certain triggers that are surely ahead in this essay. I mean conversation. Triggers include, uh, but likely will not be limited to, class oppression, calling culture and violence against scrubs, lucis abuse, complimentary and analogous hate speech, pale filling, slurries and other concupiscent fluids, uh, lifespan shaming, ableist slurs, uh, prolix dissertation. Actually, maybe it would be easier for you to list your triggers, and I'll do my best to avoid these topics, or navigate them more delicately if at all possible. Uh, hashtag top it warning, uh, oppression, culling, grub violence, loose abuse, homophobia, pales, slurries. <sighs> Great! It sounds like you don't have any triggers, at least none that you know about. I'll proceed with caution nevertheless. Just please let me know if you start feeling triggered by anything I'm saying, and we can take a brief time out while you summon your morale to help pacify you, assuming you have one. Not that I'm presuming you do, but I heard that you did, is that correct? If not, I apologize. I further apologize in if your orientation precludes this possibility. As a pale aromantic, a panquadrant demiromantic, something in the grey pale sexual department or such, and hopefully you are not triggered by such presumptuous, conciliar, normative language. 
It wouldn't be the first time I was guilty of such an inexcusable microaggression, and I am not so oblivious to my own romantic privilege to believe it will be the last time either. Uh, hashtag conciliar normativity, microaggressions, uh, rom privilege, presumptuous, uh, more else. <laughs> You're dying? You're not dying yet. Uh, I'm glad I brought up the subject of unexamined privilege, because it dovetails beautifully with the point I was about to make regarding before in society and its savage umbral potentiality, which later manifested through the kind of alternian brutality you are all too familiar with. Uh, these, uh, those in the higher echelons of the hemospectrums, such as the ceruleans, or blue bloods, careful being loose with such terminology is opening the floodgates to a whole host of toxic sinus language and hemophobic slurs. Uh, when addressing the challenges faced by those lower on the spectrum, such as the mid-hues or in particular word casts like umbers, ochres, or rust bloods, another slur, highly problematic, deeply offensive and triggering terminology, strongly inspiring you to steer clear of this term, they would be well revised to check their cerulean privilege, particularly before dismissing hardships or marginalizing claims of oppression, which can be difficult for them to identify or empathize with from their advantageous position within the before and slash alternian power structures. Hashtag dovetail problematic power structures toxic sinus language. You're not dying yet. You are really not dying yet. Uh. And some may argue that in our peaceful, utopian culture, that we have freed ourselves from injustice and disparities and privilege in a post-scarcity economy, largely equal rights distributed uh, across the hemospectrum, and therefore exist in a post-spectral world, laugh out loud, and therefore there is no need to uh, champion important social causes, and there is nothing left to debate, but really nothing could be further from the truth. You just need to be- you just need to educate yourself and carefully investigate the long-standing power dynamics in play. For instance, a seemingly harmless remark from a cis-blooded cerulean toward an umber or uh, an umber or god forbid a burgundy or god forbid a burgundy or yes, even a warm identifyingly physically cooler cast about their very long-term future plans, such as in the order of centuries, then this may prove to be a very hurtful microaggression due to the fact that, uh, low, low hues cannot possibly live that long themselves, and the mere privileged, and the more privileged ca cast, cast could easily outlive dozens of generations of mid hues or hundreds of generations of, of boys. Burgundy, umber, ochre, yellow greens. No, please avoid describing the latter most as lime blood, as it has historically been used as an especially vicious epithet. Such remarks can further trigger painful uh, reminders of how cooler casts, to some extent uh, OJAs, uh, but CIPs and Royal Vs in particular, have been able to use their tremendous lifespans over the millennia to gain a stranglehold over the social order, have been able to completely dictate our societal evolution by ensuring only their cultural agendas and their narratives receive the dialogue's air supply, assuring the codification of these reluctant of those re resultant ideals, and codificate uh, and deciding what normalcy entails. Oh no! 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 Mm. Red shirt, troll Richard Stallman. No! Mm. <laughs> I hate this way more now. <sighs> You interrupted cankering in the middle of a sentence. That's kind of rude. <laughs> Is this the next 45 minutes of the game? Um, well, in my read-through, which was in my head, yeah. I don't remember exactly how long it took, but... Anyway, uh... 
assuring the codification of these resultant ideals and deciding what normalcy entails, and sadly these absolutes became it internalized across the full spectral range, even within those of most compromised privilege, and so you begin to s see the cyclical nature of the dysfunction and the resulting inertia against positive change and raising awareness of the most under-problematized issues, which I think we can agree is pretty problematic. Hashtag post-spectral world, lol, boys. Uh, OJAs, CIPs, Royal Vs, narratives, agendas, narratives. And really, it's everyone's business to examine their privilege, even Burgundies, who may be suggested to the pitfall of believing incorrectly there are uh, none on the scale beneath them whom they enjoy certain privileges over, which off-spectrum trolls will never know, such as those identifying as other bloods or caste multiples, poly-blooded, any who hemologically ID as having a caste which manifests nowhere, as yet unknown in anyone physically, or for that matter, off-specs who physically do possess such a blood type, or mutants, very problematic term, highly triggering to some, be warned, such as you and I, Carcat. But this puts us uh, both in a situation which, to our knowledge, usually uniquely allows us to understand and empathize with tragically underprivileged and unempowered groups across all scuttles of life, thus affording us both what I like to call a uniquely underprivileged privilege, which, yes, is a kind of privilege we should stri both strive to check as well whenever we can. This same uniquely underprivileged perspective, as I'm sure you know, was disadvantaged upon my postgrad iteration as well. And while I have no doubt you justifiably came to revere that figure of your planet's rich history and your personal lineage, and while his goals of peace, equality, and a truly spectra-blind society, I'm afraid I personally have trouble condoning his methods. I don't like to use the term problematic lightly. But, well, his tactics were nothing if not massively problematic, to say the least, employing violent uprising to effect change, and emblazoning his mark upon history and his faithful followers with a sultry flourish of a single rude shouted swear word. It's not to my taste even though he is who I would have grown up to be in another life. I would have grown up, uh, yeah. But no, I prefer to effect social change through rational, honest discourse, and contributing to ongoing dialogues, focusing on what should be the real goals, through keen adherence to the discipline of problematics, ensuring that we stay focused on successfully problematizing a wide range of direly undercomplicated social dilemmas. Hashtag undercomplication, salty, flourish, rude shouted swear word, spectra blind society. It's nice to see we agree on so much. Maybe we are not so unalike, despite our drastically different upbringings. Anyway, as I was saying, the story of your ancestor, and more importantly my exhaustive list of misgivings with his approach to social change, is quite a long and elaborate one, but it actually fits brilliantly within the larger mosaic, uh, which captures the broad s strokes of my past. Uh, I mean our discussion. <laughs> of my post. I mean discuss uh, discussion. Trigger warnings for the following contents include ancestor bashing, face shaming, loud swearing, torture, burn wounds, ship sinking. Again, seriously, just let me know if you begin to feel triggered by anything, even slightly. We'll pause and see if we can ex really explore those issues and identify exactly how I may have invalidated your struggles. Without further ado, the story is as follows. Hashtag topic warning. Ancestor bashing, shaming, swearing, torture, burns, ship sinking, struggles. <laughs> blargle, blargle, blarg, a blargle, a blargle, blarg, a blargle, a blargle, a blargle, 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 blarg. You know, I think when I first read this, I tried to um, read this somehow. I don't know how. I feel like I comprehended some of the words, but it was also really late, so uh, <laughs> yeah. Seriously though, I swear I did and I have no idea how. Anyway. <laughs> I quit here. It always was. This game, yes. I quit after. I what happened was I was I got to the end of Act Six, Act Three, and I was like, dang, 
Uh, I'm curious. Maybe. N no, I didn't read the comic in one day. Give me a break. I think I heard someone read it over the course of like two or three days, basically nonstop, which is pretty crazy to think about. They read very, very quickly. Cause they're pro at that, anyway. No. No. <laughs> That's Kinkry. Okay, there's two paths here, and I'm going to ask you to vote now on your phones. Yeah. I mean, it was really horrible, but also, yeah. <coughs> Thanks, Rich Troll Richard Stallman. Okay. But now on your phones, mind that I don't have Discord or anything, so... Okay, go right. You... You got a troll romance novel! Wow, there sure is some steamy, trashy literature here! <laughs> Come on. It's making you perspire a little, and you're only three sentences into the title. Doesn't seem like anyone's looking. Maybe I'll just like a one little peek inside. Whoops, it just disappeared in a blur again. God damn it. Lalonde. Rose reads these books. <coughs> You've got a regicycle. Perfect for threshing royalty with. You could almost say you could use it to thresh princes. Hashtag troll Will Smith. You got a magic cue ball! Hey, is this thing a juju to you? It's a shame you can't see through its surface, or you'd be able to ask it yourself. This is another thing that's kind of unnerving to find here. Good thing it's only a memory object, right? Right? Maybe? You got a bunch of licorice Scotty Dogs! Oh man, these were a delicacy on your part. The most valuable treat per pound by far. You have to be a very, very wealthy person to keep a great supply of these on hand. By selling these, you should be able to make most of your fortune back in one fell swoop! Except you just ate most of them. Worth it. Yo! Damn, girl! You finally made it! High five! You know it! I'm so fucking ghostly now! Ooh! Right on, girl! Dream Bub's real! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Life for life! Wah! <laughs> yeah. That should have sounded like a life for life. Like A is in after. But spoken as a number, and then for as a homonym for the proposition and stuff. It's spoken for confusion. You know how it is. I just gotta sacrifice understandability for the sake of radness sometimes. Breaching in the group of choral singers, Pyro. Choral singers? Oh, you mean Quar, I get it. But Coral isn't the funky shit underwater, said? <laughs> Still rocking the fish puns, I see. Well, that's not really the kind of radness I was talking about, but I'll let it slide. Puns, kinda lame. Hey, fuck you! Can't believe y'all are shitting on my fish puns right out of the blowhole like that. As if your numbers, BS, and jacking Z's on the end of words is any more rad than my baller wordplay. Or should I say, sword fish play? Nah, that sucks. <clears throat> I mean, your skating instants are objectively rad, I'll give you that. But you need to get on your high seahorse, because it's practically nothing else about you is especially better than average. Oh, chill axe, psych. Uh, paycheck? I am so jerking your fork. I know we've had our uh, issues before, but I could always see you had true rad girl cred. You don't even know how hard it was uh, uh, toweling the rad load all by myself with you gone for so long. 
towing loads. Harsh is my grinds. Do you even know how lame of a scene it is being the only legit in your face power growing girl in a bunch of bubbles full of brutal posers? What I'm saying is, I'm psyched to have you back, MP. Hey, hit, up, hit, hit me up, top. High five. Uh, sir? Still wearing out the high fives, I see, even after, like, what? Eternity? Still know how time works here. So, yeah, girl. Oh! Never even got to congratulate you on how wicked your rad suicide bomb plan was. Killed the shit out of us. Never saw it coming. Sure never smelled it coming, huh? Way smart. Timing it just before the scratch so that God Tears didn't have a chance to revive before the reset. Thus ironically leaving them to be erased from existence. Not that that really even needed explaining. That just just occurred to me recently. Was opening the mall vault, the meal vault to make a freaking ghost snack when I was like, shit. Hey, Jack. I is it all shaking my fists? <laughs> Don't leave me hanging, girl. High five. Okay, one more by rope, but that's it. I take a good high five as much as the next bad girl, but my god. High five fatigue. Got this fresh pimp ghost bottle looking fine as fuck. I don't need to cause up my palms already. Haven't you heard an empress needs hands so soft you can use them to polish gold with? Ask Latula to join. Uh, question. Shoot, babes. Seeing as when a hot chick gamer girl you have a reputation for and all, I figured you would be a look what, to join my party. To go fuck up Clamalord or whoever. Lord of Clans. Wait, who? Skull guy. Kills ghosts. Uh, nope. Help me out and pay money. Don't you keep up with current events? Current, like, water current? Yes. Yes! I agree. I love it. I'm pretty sure that Terezi does that face once, too. And these two are the only characters who do. You remind me why I thought you were crazy, MV. Just freaking spill it. The shit in the sky, it cracked. Pfft, good. Yay. <coughs> A monster did that? Do you want to go help me kill the bad guy? Oh, why didn't you say so? Sounds like a rad plan, you know how I feel about the rad plans. But... Hey, to be a buzzkill, but it's been, what, approximately hell a year since I did any fighting? Kinda rusty, she don't let KK... Shit, don't let KK know I said rusty, huh? <laughs> uh, DW, homophobic slurs. So... So I'm saying I had scads of time to perform this kill a hand plant. Wanna see? No, pretty sure don't give much a shit the amount of trick you do on your four wheel device. Though I will say, Scabs is actually a fish pun you probably made on accident. Which kind of makes me want to give you a hug to what balances out your dumb shit answer. Fish puns are my one weakness. I'm sorry, MB. I really am. I feel like such a wet snuggle plane bailing on you like this? No, well, maybe you can like wet snuggle planes? Uh, since you can live underwater? I could probably run it by, uh, MT, see what he thinks. Oh shit, you mean, uh, capture? That's still a thing after all this pseudo time, or? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Still red? Uh huh. Oops. Oh my clever. Seriously, didn't think that would last. Any case, there's way more to him than, well, all the terrible and stupid shit he says all the time. Yeah, it's always felt like he needs me, if that makes sense, even after dying. So there's that. Friggin' afterlife. I know I'm new here, but it almost seems like you die and nothing means anything, and then you date forever. Sort of makes me want to puke. Maybe in a nice way, though? Yeah. Couldn't see that wink behind your rad specs, FYI. And then, anyway. If you change your mind, just let me know. B. 
be Latula. Girl, who doesn't who doesn't want to be me? You think you can just waltz into this bubble and start being any rad gamer girl you cross paths with? Say yeah, alright. You have a long, long way to go before you earn enough rad crads. Crads to be me. I always like to call them crads. Crads, yep. Yeah. Let's do a shut up and just tell me what horse thing you want me to do. It's gonna cost ya. You have to like all my raddest memories. And then we will at least 413 of them. The tumbler for the number 413, not AIE. You cannot be serious. <laughs> Psych. Okay, Tools, I'm outie. Wait, don't be like that. We can still cut a deal, let me think. Hmm. Alright, kid, tell you what. Since I dig your style, I'll give you a shot. You may think you rule, whereas most others drool. But why I want to know is, how bad can you thrash stuff? Just need to scope your kickflip chops, make sure everything checks out, see if your techniques are where they need to be at. Kickflip chops? Ugh. Yeah, girl, show me your stunts. Maybe something to hang plant? Oh, no, it sure would be wicked malicious. Grinding down a railing? Yeah! Hold pulse. That ought to be flagrant enough to prove your roundness for sure. Four is a homonym again, yo. So what do you say, Paycheck? You ready to start ripping up so many hellacious shreds of this fierce, shitty, blazing, uh, nasty? We'll start getting so deliriously rude brazen it. Just give me the board by rope. You got Latula's four-wheel device. Oh yeah! What's up, gamers? <laughs> Where's the railing? I can't remember if it's one of these railings. I don't think it's one of these. Mm. I take it, it's over here. Where's the railing? The railings directly south? You're not telling me there were railings directly south. Yeah, I checked these, and I slid down them, and I failed. Okay, let's try these. They're directly south. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. What's in here? You got a pretzel horse hitcher. Who could have done this to such a fine cast iron steed? Whoever it was must have been incredibly strong, incredibly smug, and incredibly floppy when shaken. An incredible host. Ah uh, yes, a good old doc strize scratch. Oh the railings, they don't work. You can trust this game to do the things right by, uh... Ooh, right. Examine bubble. It's a little dream bubble, but it does not contain your memory. Only Purim can see what's inside. Sorry. Talk to Purim. Welcome back. Sup, Miriam? So, your death certificate is barely dried, and you're already busy raising an army, I hear. How'd you even hear that already? Dang. Word travels fast here. Plenty of gossip. No one quite prepares you for the fact that on the other side of death is an infinite echo chamber of teen drama. Hashtag bubbler. Funny how when we left our world to play your game, we all thought we were leaving our juvenile school feeding days behind us. Yeah, all the more reason to get out of here and find bad guys and stuff. I noticed how you cunningly sidestepped an encounter with Kankri down there. Nicely done. Yeah, yeah, poor Shouty. No bubbly deserves having to meet a dead teen alt-universe ancestor like that. 
colon eyes. I have not once made a drill joke in my life. Oh no. Yeah, that's literally every Homestuck character. I am 18, and that's something I have to live with for the rest of my life. You got it. <laughs> I think he might be entertaining some delusion of taking him under his wing. Or if not his wing, the red fuzzy arm of his sweater. What is with that ugly thing anyway? I made it for him, actually. For one thing, I got tired of looking at his stupid hiked-up pants, which he refused to change, ever. Seriously, did you ever see him wearing anything else? Pants scan. <laughs> no. So unfashionable. Also, he was always shivering. It gets kind of chilly out here, and he just wouldn't stop. Not that I minded too much, but he just has this way of making such vocal and ostentatious displays of suffering like it's some kind of righteous state of being. It gets difficult for everyone to endure, especially after eons. Hence his nickname, I guess. Yeah. Wait, nickname? If there's a new ding on Vandaz, I need to know it pronto. The insufferable. Fuck yes, high five. Wait, forget it, my hand's still sore from the Tula. Goddamn rad girl. Bitch slaps hard. Oh, I know. You do? Wait, that has sounded officially like innuendo. You and her have a... Uh, I was under the impression you didn't come here to start trading gossip. Well, you're right. I almost forgot that I'll be glubbing a fuck. Glub exactly zero fucks. I apologize for prying into your rom life. That was so imprudent of me. It's alright. It's not like I have many well-kept secrets. Come visit me anytime. We'll get you all caught up on exactly who's been seen passing through the well-greased revolving doors of my quadrants. Yeah, okay. Let's see. I see. Hilarious. Okay, so I finally figured out the buttons. They're bad. You rebubble this memory, and it receives many comments. None of the comments appear to be made by people who've had any education whatsoever. I think it's just a series of messages that can show up. It's pretty bad. Ask Borum to join. <coughs> I never follow- I never- I only gathered that they existed halfway through, and by then I felt like I'd missed everything related to them, so I kind of ignored them my first playthrough, and I'm kind of doing so again, but I need to replay this and see what all those messages are at some point, just for the heck of it. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, yeah. Timing. Uh... I'll see. I'm hoping we can maybe get through this room. I think this may be the last room, but I'm not sure. If nothing else, we can get through hopefully this provided time, and if you're alright. <laughs> yeah, true. Fair enough. Ask Porum to join. It's a noble idea, but I don't know how useful I'd be. Oh, come on, Prawn. Oh, dang. Yeah. I'm excited, though. What's the size of your party so far? Uh, It's still just you, isn't it? Maybe. Losers everywhere. If I were you, I'd ask all the god tiers first. They'd give you the most tactical advantage, wouldn't they? Uh, hashtag god tiers. Then you can build your coalition around them. Pajama party. I guess. Plus, they're immortal, right? Or ghost immortal, perhaps. Dear God, it's finally come to this. We have to talk about ghost immortality now in a serious way. Ghost immortality. Serious business. Lol, yeah. Anyway, that's what I'd do. 
But I think the thing is the Skull Lord might actually be able to kill God Tears. At least, Ghost God Tears. Can he? Like, bypass the whole Judgment Hella Beluga that makes him resurrect? Well... You know, with a fancy clock and all. I don't know. You'll have to ask Aranea. I'm sure she could take talk your fin off on the subject. Hashtag Sylph of Words. Oof. Yeah, maybe later. Do you even know who all the god tiers are? Um. Uh, there's Aranea. Did you ask her? Yeah, but she has her own plan. Girl is going on a cherub jam or some bitch ass noise. Yeah, that. Okay, well, I hope this isn't going to face it, but how about. But what about you? Uh, I've heard rumors that you reached God Tier, but never let on to anyone. Except, presumably, Damara. You don't understand. It doesn't fucking Thief of Life get up. You look like such ass. I couldn't just parade around in that hideous thing. Got a reputation to consider. So it is true, then. Thought so. See what I mean, though? I wasn't sure about that until just now. Rumors are always flying, but secrets somehow persist. Who knows who else reached God tier? A lot can happen in three sweeps. I only know I didn't I only know I didn't make it. But if you need someone to eerily phosphorus in the demon's vicinity, while debating whether to try drinking his blood, then I'd like to think I easily crack the top ten plus candidates you might consider for the job. Yeah, I know you'd rock the glow in duties. Glow. Guess you're right, I should see what other god tiers want to join. The problem is I don't think becoming god tier stops you from being lame and terrible. Just being lame and terrible. And we got a lot of people like that on our team. So... This is true. Guess I'll keep axing around. Good about, see ya, Miriam. Miriam. Be part him. I really can't blame you for being in such a hurry to go kill him. Huh? Yeah! It's only been like two hours of that song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? The Lord of Time. Actually, it's a good example of what I've always been trying to say to Cankry, but he doesn't buy it. Snotty brat privilege. After the scratch, our world continued to be matriarchal upon superficial observation, but was subject to a considerably more sinister, cloaked form of patriarchal tyranny all along. What are you talking about? Your post-grad self, who grew up to be the Empress, was really just the Lord's slave all along, implicitly during her long reign, through manipulation by his cunning employee, an excellent host. And then, explicitly after the extinction of our race, she formally became his servant and did his bidding long thereafter. What? He did the same with Damara. She was his loyal time witch, helping him turn our world into the nightmare it became. When her usefulness came to an end, he, pitied, he pitted you and her against each other, and I guess a twisted redux of the conflict you and she had in the past. The outcome was somewhat different this time. Yo, that is so messed up! The bottom line is, in addition to being an all-around bastard, this guy appears to enjoy being especially nasty to girls. If it's true he's hunting down the ghost of his departed sister, then I really feel sorry for her. No, fuck that! Rah! I am going to slaughter that ugly muscle monster! Ugh. I will steal his shitty coat and wear it on my throne! Ugh. I will rip off his skull and gild it and then I will wear it as my crown while his, while his bleeding green torso bows before me! Arg, arg, arg. Girl. Um, wow. Best of luck with that. Examine bubble. It's a little dream bubble containing one of your memories. You look inside. The memory is from right here on Prospect. You spend a great deal of time there during the long sweeps of your session. You remember this little precipice wall. But wasn't there a... 
Well, but wasn't there a staircase here? You were almost positive there were stairs. <gasps> Exclamation mark. Amazing. Oh no! Yeah. You got it. Talk to Kinky. Oh no! Kenny, leave this poor kid alone. I'd appreciate if you wouldn't call me that. We've talked about this. That's what you call a wiggler. Do I look like a wiggler to you, Porim? No, I don't. It's been three sleeps, plus eternity. For, excuse me, fuck's sake. I think we can safely retire that particular term of endearment. Call me anything but that, even my other nickname. I'm actually okay with that one. Hashtag microaggression? No, wait. Macroaggression's more like... <laughs> I'm not calling you insufferable, can you? Well, not unless I'm using it as an actual adjective. And even then, probably not to your face. Well, not often, I mean. It would be nice if you'd at least use my proper name in front of my studious young Alternian descendant. It really kind of erodes my credibility, and I don't need that in the proximity of a fresh-faced youngster who clearly thirsts for knowledge. Why would you want to sabotage a fine young man's education like that? fresh-faced youngster, knowledge thirst. Rolling my eyes here. Can you see? Do you want me to light them up for you? No, but thanks for offering. Could you go roll them over there? Thank you. Now where was I? How do you even roll eyes without pupils? I don't think he cares. Hey there, Carcat, if you don't mind my asking, are you even remotely interested in the loaf supplement this guy's... Serving? Gotcha. You just said all you needed to say. You know, you are actually very cute. That girl who's been wandering around in the dragon suit is a very lucky lady. Okay, wonderful. That conversation just came to an end. Porin, please don't hit on my rebooted kid ancestor descendant. It's really weird. Not to mention he looks... Exactly like me. I mean, kind of obviously. So when you're hitting on him, it's like you're hitting on me at the exact same time. Which, like I said, it's weird. Hashtag, it's weird. Not to get into all this again, but the thought of dating you is just a strange and vaguely off-putting idea. No offense. It almost makes me understand at a visceral level the bizarre human anathema of incest. Which is something I can't really explain. I'm just saying. Hashtag, trigger warning. Incest, anathemas, viscerality, vaguely off-putting. Very deep sigh. Oh my god. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry that I am, perhaps literally, the only one not to ever fall prey to your tireless omnidirectional solicitations, or to get swept in one of your innumerable flush or caligonous flings. I happen to always prefer you as a friend, and in any case, I always prefer to lead a relatively chaste existence, as it keeps me focused on fighting on behalf of truly important problems. Although staying relatively chaste to you, I suppose, is not saying much. Hey. Once again, I apologize. I'm looking. <coughs> yeah. That it is. Once again, I apologize. I've plundered into the problematic territory of vaccination shaming, thus opening the floodgates to the myriad ways one may be disadvantaged upon by its staggering shame radius. I forgot to check my piety privilege, and here we are. I was going to cover this topic in a much later chapter of my lecture, but we've gotten badly derailed here. Hashtag topic warning, derailment, train wrecks, chapter 99, chapter 99, catastrophes. Carcat, I'm sorry for this interruption. I promise I'll get back to my cr critical lecture as soon as this promiscuous busybody leaves us in peace. Village two-wheel device. <sighs> yes, critical lecture, I'm sure. And am I right in being just as sure you are assiduously, assiduously deconstructing every conceivable hypothetical form of injustice no matter how obscure, except those that I happen to think are kind of important? Yes. No. Just, no, Porim, we're not doing this. No. 
I am not going to pollute Karkat's utterly imperative crash course, in which he is introduced to the absolute basics by indulging in your pet issues. Yes, how dreadful it would be for your 69 million word essay to get bogged down by even the faintest reference to the roles of gender and before in an alternian civilization. Hashtag human sarcasm. Look, it's not that I'm insensitive to your concerns on that topic. I'm interested to discuss them with you on an academic, primarily theoretical level. Theoretical? I just think there is inherent danger in muddying the waters of discourse by introducing social issues which are suspect at best, uh, thus consuming critical resources from the limited cache of rhetoric which repels these narratives. And furthermore, one could argue that it's more than a little problematic, offensive even, for you to be appropriating the lexicon of sensitivity used to advance awareness of major issues, thus reducing it to the level of buzzbeak in pseudoscience. It makes it more difficult for those of us who are genuinely focused on positive change to be taken seriously, that's all. Appropriating? That's not what that even means? Pseudoscience? You did not just... No, there isn't. I'm sorry, I just don't think there's much there. We aren't like humans, whose species bizarrely enough includes highly specialized roles for both sexes in the process of reproduction, and so this naturally has social ramifications for the way their civilization evolved. But that's just not how it works for us, so I fail to see how gender factors into the discussion in a way that can be effectively and rationally problematized. Where is the room for unexplained privilege in the dichotomy? I don't see it. And appropriating the talking points and awareness-raising tactics for dubious issues like this is, frankly, frowned upon, to put it politely. Such appropriating gestures only serve to marginalize and invalidate those subject to, and I guess I'm, uh, subject to serious, real-life struggles and oppression. And I guess I'm a little disappointed to see you being so blindly and inappropriately appropriatory. Frowned upon. Frowns all around. Welcome to Frown Town. Yeah, I... Kenny, I'm starting to feel just a little bit triggered by all this appropriation bullshit. Trigger warning, about to kick your tall pants ass. <laughs> oh, my sincere apologies. I should have... <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my sincere apologies. I should have done a better uh, job tagging my statements, but for future reference, it's helpful to alert your conversational partners to your triggers well in advance. Should I go fetch your morale to help you settle you down? And if so, who exactly will be filling that quadrant today? It's the mayor, right? Gotta be the mayor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the mayor is the best morale, though. Alright, obviously you're in one of your bratty moods. I'm gone. Don't be like that. Really, we can talk about whatever you like later. Absolutely. And I'll be really sympathetic, I promise. Just not around my pupil while he is still learning. Er, my descendant. What did I say? Huh. Carcat, I mean. Anyway, Carcat, again, I apologize for that. Now, where was I? Me too. I can't remember. I don't think it's the mayor. We had some other attributes which uh, factored into standability and. Not to say the mayor isn't extremely standable, it's just that, you know, it didn't factor out to them. Yeah, I agree. Nice, we can't even talk to Craighead. Ah, stairs! I can't get up them. Don't understand. Nope. Talk to Latula. Hey. Yo, yo! What's up, girl? Latula, it's just me. I don't think anyone is looking. No need to go so heavy on the rad girl routine. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll chill it down a bit. What's on your think pad? Oh, Mary. 
meaning our ancestors as kids, or I mean our descendants as kids, however you want to spin it. Decestors? Ancestors? Downcestors? Hmm, bingo! It has, it has me thinking about our rebooted lives on Alternia, and what we grew up to be. By the way, Downcestors is actually the term that the entire community uses to uh, refer to specifically these trolls. I know. I'm so sorry. Yeah. It has me thinking about our rebooted lives on Alternia and what we grew up to be. Makes me wonder about fate, if it's something that's even comprehensible. Yeah. For instance, on Alternia, my relationship with Kankri seemed to make some sense. I could definitely see our lives becoming entangled in that way, karmically speaking. But then there were other developments that are still mysterious to me. Like, as far as I know, you and Aranea always got along, didn't you? Radler, kind thing. Eh, I guess. Never spent much time thinking about Circuit TBH. Always thought she was a self-absorbed snooze if you really want to know. Not even the rad kind of Z's. Exactly. Nothing much to your relationship to speak of at all. But in your post scratch lives, you had such major issues together, even your descendants inherited it, and continued the contentious cycle until there was bloodshed. Red Glare, Mindfang. Really? Huh. Did you not know that? Mindfang gave you five, then left you hanging. Never really thought about it, but now that you mention it, that outcome makes all sorts of sense to me. It does? How? Just does, babes. I don't really understand karma. Thanks, cause you're not a mind player. Oh, could you explain to me how it works then? Psh, as if. That wouldn't be a very rad thing to do. Do I look like circuit to you? Hey, check out this outstanding heel flip. I don't. <sighs> okay, let's see it. Oh yes, just so totally. Amazing heel flip. I am pretty sure there is an event, which does happen at some point. Oh, is that how that happens? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, lives. We are now Mina. Check out this railing. Do a sick grind down the railing? Vote now on your phones. Yes! Hell yes! Hell fucking yes! That was... so... freaking... radical! Holy smokes, girl, I didn't think you even had grinds like that! So you say you wanted to be me, huh? Well, you got it! Hells, girl, I'm not sure if I shouldn't be the one asking to be you! For a second time, be Latula. Ah, uh, yeah. What's up, gamers? I'm Game Girl, and I'm here to show you that girls can game too. Don't go easy on me, guys, unless you want to get beat by a girl. Are you ready? Well, let's do this. <laughs> Yo, I'm the Game Girl, and I got the <laughs> Agreed. It's funny. When I say girls, you say rule. Girls. Girls rule. Rule. You say drool. Boy. When I'm on scoreboard, you sure can't tell. I can't remember if this is a remix of Gamer Girls. I think it is. You gamer guys better take it like a man. Yeah. I'm the game girl. She's a game girl. The best in the world. She's a game girl. Girls rule. She's a game girl. Girl. I'm kicking rad. She's a girl. You're super bad. She's a girl. 
I think this came out before the album, though. With the song, Volume 9. Who knows? Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, there is a actually a save system built into the game later in this intermission, I believe, but not in the first entry. Yo, you know what else is pretty exciting? I'm spoiling it for you now, but are you claiming Andrew has you to be exciting? I'm spoiling it, but the, uh, you get diagonal movement later. It's amazing. It's just really the best amazing thing ever. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll stop this dream here. I'll keep this page open. It's not exactly complicated to retrace these steps anyway. Uh, but yeah, let's keep it muted. Go, it's not screaming now. Y'all. Boof. Thanks. See ya. <laughs>